So you're finally going to get that tax cut. If you're on the Kansas side of the state line, it looks like it's going to happen after a lot of back and forth between the House and the Senate and what will Governor Kelly sign. Dave Trubert with the Kansas Policy Institute is here to tell us more on KCMO 95.7 FM. All right, Dave, is this thing going to happen here? What's going on? Well, good morning, Pete. We, we think so uh, because it's on the governor's desk. It passed with overwhelming majority, bipartisan, and the governor was encouraging Democrats to uh, support a bill a couple of days before this one passed that was very similar. So we're, we're encouraged. We think she's going to sign it. If she doesn't, it looks like both chambers have more than enough to override a veto. It. So it really looks like this is going to happen. All right. So uh, what is the plan? What are the highlights? Without getting us too much into the weeds, what are the highlights that the average Kansan will notice on how uh, their taxes will be reduced in this plan? So you're saying you want this in English, not with the green eye shade. Yeah, you know, I, as I always say, because now you're going to uh, go, get me going here for a second – Everything you can to avoid using acronyms. I can't stand when politicians come on this show and they use acronyms as if we're all sitting in Topeka listening to what they talk about every day, because we're not. Good point. Okay, so the top marginal rate falls from 5.7% to 5.55. The second rate drops from 5.25 to 5.15. And the personal exemption goes up, uh, so it effectively exempts the first 7,000 single, 14,000 married from tax at all. Nice. So, uh, and you get a 3% increase in the standard deduction. Social Security is completely exempt from state income tax. That's something we've been, we first introduced that concept in 2021. It's good to see that happening. And the, uh, there's some property tax in there. Right now, the first $40,000 of your home is exempt from the school property tax. That goes to 100000 And the school property tax rate is cut a little bit from 20 to 19.5 mils. And finally, the food sales tax uh, that was going to go away on January 1, this is the state tax, not local. Locals will still tax food. Uh, but it goes away ju- uh, July 1. That's nice. I mean, that's... Um... You know, all in all, if you can't have just a flat, you know, zero percent state income taxes, this is a trend in the right direction. And the personal exemption is is pretty good. Is there any personal or or any exemptions right now up to a certain amount of monies? No. Okay. Um, You you get a personal exemption, you get standard deductions, uh, but then every dollar of taxable income, every dollar after that is taxable. So. They, they kind of did that. They, like, for example, the personal exemption for two people would be $4,500 right now. That goes to 18000 Wow. That's so, pretty good. So that's how they, that's, yeah, that's how they get to, you know, like the first 14000 is really tax exempt. Do you, I know this is not a bill that you worked on per se, Dave, or you lobbied for, at least maybe I'm speaking out of school on that, but do you know what the average savings and taxes would be for a Kansan if this does pass and if the governor signs this or what are they projecting? Yeah, we do. Um, we, we did a, uh, an analysis of this. First of all, we did, by the way, push hard for this we, okay. from the very beginning. I mean, a, a flat tax would be better yeah. policy wise, uh, especially long term. But once it became clear that neither chamber seemed to have the votes to pass that, we started pushing the legislature hard to get what they could. Uh, offer to make a compromise. Governor Kelly's uh, approach wasn't near enough. But but go back to her and say, let's look. You mean you guys talk about meeting in the middle of the road all the time? Let's actually do it. Uh, and and so we were really pleased to to see that come about. So so uh, now for the actual savings, yeah, there was uh, it, at a. Um, Let's say a married income, $40,000, you're going to have your, with two kids, you're going to see your taxes reduced by about 36%. Oh, that's great. Uh, the, yeah, the lowest incomes have the largest percentage reduction. By the time you get to, let's say, $200,000 family income, you're looking at about a 3% reduction. So there's a, there's a decent reduction. 
but it's not uh, near as large as what the people on the bottom end get. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and, and that makes uh, all the sense in the world when you actually stack it up. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. So now the governor is sitting on her desk. She could not sign it, and it could go in the law, or she could sign it. So is there a timeline on when the governor needs to sign it by? Yeah, it's uh, 10 days. She has to do something uh, within 10 days of when it is officially get, gets to her. Okay. It, it probably hasn't gotten to her yet, the way the process works. But she has 10 days to either veto, sign it, or just let it become law without her signature. Okay, very good. Uh, Dave Traubert, CEO of the Kansas Policy Institute, is here on KCMO. Now, the other thing, um, last week, the Kansas Blueprint for Literacy passed. Um, the governor will sign this. I, what is it? And are you happy that she is signing this, Dave Traubert, as a guy who has advocated for more transparency mm-hmm. in education in this state? Yeah, this is this is a really good piece of legislation. The Blueprint for Literacy uh, lays out a, a partnership between the State Board of Regents, the Department of Education, and the legislature. Uh, it was really driven by the re- the regents get a lot of credit for pushing for this. Um, and the uh, what it does is it's all built around the science of reading. So the regents will be pushing uh, all the universities to make the science of reading the, the, the main one, the only one, hopefully. Uh, there's going to be the same thing is going to happen at the Department of Education with school, school districts. And the biggest thing is that there's, there's actually targets put in place here that are going to be reviewed and reports have to be given to the legislature. Right now, we have 32% of kids in grades three through eight below grade level. In 10 years, that's, that has to fall to 10%. Mm-hmm. We have 34% that are proficient. That is supposed to hit 50% in 10 years. So with, with targets, they're going to be reviewed and plans are supposed to be adjusted. Uh, we, we think this has, has really good potential to raise awareness and start pushing universities and the school districts to actually get kids uh, to learn how to read. And are you surprised the governor signing this? No, uh, in this case, not, uh, because it's there are certain certainly the Department of Education is not in favor of accountability. They tried to argue in uh, testimony that we should only be shooting for basic, not proficient. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so, but but I think that there's there's been enough pressure. We've been putting, uh, we're not the only ones, but there's been a lot of people uh, helping put pressure on the, the legislature and the regents and and the uh, school districts to understand that Kansas does not have the the uh, student achievement levels that the school districts would like you to believe. It is much lower. It it is crisis mode. It has been, and something has to be done. So I think this is now. There's no consequence, so yeah. that makes it easier for people to sign. But it's at least it's laid out there and said this is where we're supposed to be by this time in the future. And and so it does start create some some measure of accountability there. Well, like you said, first step is acknowledging the problem, and at least they're doing that here, right? So yeah. that's, that's a right. good step in the right direction. Uh, Dave Traubert doing great work with the Kansas Policy Institute. It's been a good few days, Dave. I'm glad we're talking about uh, some things getting done there in Topeka down the home stretch, and I'm sure we'll have plenty more next week, my friend. We always appreciate your time. We will. All right. Thanks, Pete. Great work. Uh, Dave Trobert with the Kansas Policy Institute.